to offer, including its amazing food scene. Seville's just been named Lonely Planet's best in travel, and they won me with this book full of amazing recipes by some of Spain's top chefs. Now, I've popped down to El Rinconcillo to sample Soledito de Pavia. Plaza de España is one of my favourite places in the city, with huge fountains, beautiful decorated bridges and even a small canal complete with rowing boats. It's like the sunshiny heart of Seville. I always think one of the best ways to get to know a city is by going on a food tour. So I'm out today with Davao Seville and it's already breakfast time. I'm having a Montedito de Bringa, which is a bit like a pulled pork sandwich. which is the famous bell tower part of Seville's huge cathedral and I've heard you get the best views of the city from up there so I think it's time to get climbing. grab a bite to eat now. They serve everything here from hot croquettes to fried fish. There's over 20 stands inside so time to eat. the Real Alcazar in Seville for about half an hour but I'm already in love with the incredible mosaic tiles everywhere and these beautiful gardens I could get lost in for hours. Casa Ricardo here is especially famous for one dish, it's spinach and chickpeas and I'm lucky enough to be heading into the kitchen today to help cook it. So here's one I made earlier, it's actually like the book. Quite proud of it. Got real spice, flavour, loads of garlic, lots of salt. Oh, it's so delicious. I've loved exploring Seville. The food has been incredible. I've taken so many photos and yet I still know this is somewhere I'll come back to again. But until next time. Thank you.